receiving cakes in Hungary. So we will have the most famous uh, cake of the country called the Dobos, D-O-B-O-S, Dobos cake. That's a chocolate cake with a lot of nice layers of sponge cake and creamy chocolate and sponge cake, creamy chocolate. And on the top, there is a crispy layer of caramel that makes it so special and tasty. But we're going to have a nice creamy walnut cake as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of, lot of food. And first, when we start the dinner cruise, we are going to cruise a little bit around the Margaret Island. That's the island you see on the right hand side. Yeah, you can see the trees to the right. That's where the island is. And in about 40, 45 minutes, we will be cruising into the city after sunset and we will see the nice buildings with the lights and we will see them first when we are cruising down to the southern part of the city from here and after that we turn around and we come back here and we will see all the buildings again so it means that we will see all the buildings twice you will have time to enjoy the view you will have time to take your pictures as well as you can see we, ha we had a fantastic Day. I mean the weather was just great and we still have fantastic weather tonight so we will have a nice clean evening we will see all the buildings with the beautiful lights yes you can see people jogging on the island right I told you after eating gula soup that's what you have to do look a lot of people on the island do the jogging and here on the right you can see already some of these small boats so we also going to have a nice private boat, ladies and gentlemen. So we are here and yes, just a few more minutes. We get off the bus, probably they need a few more minutes to get ready because we are a little bit early, but this is where our crew starts from tonight in front of us. That's the Margaret Bridge. Yeah, that's the Margaret Bridge. We crossed this morning. Maybe you remember we crossed it when we came down from the castle.
I would like to tell you that we've been cruising around the Margaret Island and now we are cruising into the part of the city where you will see the nice buildings with the light. After that you will see the palace, the bridges, but you really come back and continue eating after taking pictures of the parliament because the rest we will see again, okay? So if you just want this best shot of the parliament, now you can do that, but after that please come back and eat and drink more.
Jaja.
so ladies and gentlemen, our ship is disturbing around because now we are approaching the southern part of the city. The southern part of the city here. And just behind the bridge over there, uh, it's not lit up, but we have an athletic stadium because we're going to have the Athletic World Championship here in August this year. So there's a stadium that was built for that, right? Behind the bridge, you can see the structure, that's the stadium. And we have a very interesting building here that's worth to see. Here you will see the building with the colors, yes, yeah? so on that side. Blue at the moment, but it's changing the color. That's it. That interesting building is called Palace of Arts. Palace of Arts because inside there is a fantastic concert hall, an art gallery, and a theater too. So that's a great place to see performances. And the other building next door, that's the National Theater here. Yeah, so National Theater. These are two pretty new buildings. They were built around the year 2000. This one, the second one, the National Theater was designed by a Hungarian lady. We are very, very proud of her, the female architect of our country. But this part of the city, this is mostly for offices, mostly office buildings. So this is a kind of new business district. So you will see mostly just office buildings in the next five, ten minutes. So we have 10 more minutes, roughly, before we get back to the historical part of the city. Again, mostly for young people, mostly for university students, because of this part of the city we have several university buildings. One of the major universities of Budapest is on the left-hand side. The big brown building, the, the, I mean the brownish roof and the bank of the river, that's University of Technology. The Rubik, that's right, the Rubik's Cube, that's from that university. Mr. Rubik, he was the student of the university there. The Rubik's Cube that was invented nearly 50 years ago. Not every Hungarian can solve the Rubik's Cube, I have to tell you. <laughs> I can solve it, but it takes a long time for me to decide that big white building that's Gellert Hotel and Gellert Thermal Bath. So the building is very big because they, there is a hotel in there, but also a very nice public thermal bath. Because I've mentioned this morning we have lots of baths, bath houses in the city and that Gellert is a very, very big bridge was built in 1896. You remember millennium year, now we are right under the Liberty Bridge. And this is the favorite bridge of, of the local people. In the summer season, they close it for weekends. And at the weekends, we have concerts, dance performances, dance classes, yoga sessions, wine tasting on the bridge. So that's only for the people, only for cooking, only we're having fun on the bridge, so that's, that's the favorite bridge for the Budapest people like it, the Liberty Bridge. And it's easy to remember the name Liberty Bridge because it is right in front of the Liberty Statue after the occupation of the Germans, the Fascists, the Nazis, the Hungary, Hungarians, and actually the people of Budapest were very happy, of course, when the, the Nazi occupation was over. We were liberated by the Soviet army and first people were very, very happy when it happened because they had no idea what's coming next with the occupation. Okay? But we had a lots of lots of statues to talk to commemorate that, uh, or, or just to celebrate that the Soviets came in. But all those statues were destroyed and the communist system was already over. You know, 1989, that was the year of the change when they pulled down the statue. They melted big statues of communism, but that one, Statue of Liberty, is actually, for us, it has never been a communist memorial, but we love the statue so much. See, it's a lady with an olive branch, it has nothing to do with communism, so we love it very much. It can be seen from every point of the city, wherever you are. And behind the statue, there. You can see a building that's an old fortification, a fortress. A place in Hungary that's interesting because we have the hot spring. 
no volcanoes, no earthquakes, but long, long, long time ago, this hill used to be a volcano. That's why this is where we have several hot springs. Here we are. And the soil, this volcanic soil, for many centuries was perfect to grow grain. So they have a beautiful grape yards, vineyards here before. Nowadays we have none because the grapes died out in a disease. This is another public thermal bath. And this is a very special one. Inside of it, there is a turkey spot that's 500 years old. You remember we had the Turkish occupation. The Turks destroyed a lot, but they built turkey spots. And we still have five turkey spots. I think this is one of them. The Turkish part of the building actually is really small. There is a smaller building in the middle that's from the Turkish time. One pool. And you have to buy a separate ticket to get there. Because in the Turkish cars, originally and still today, they were separate dates for men and women. Because it is not compulsory to wear a swimming suit. So people don't wear a swimming suit or bathing suit. Um, because when you buy your ticket, you get something that's like a kitchen apron, and that kitchen apron kind of thing you wear in the turkey spa. This morning, it looks new, it looks more modern than the other bridges of the city. This is because at the World War II they designed a brand new bridge here. And at the end of the bridge on the Buddha side, on the left, there you can see the statue of the bishop. Maybe you remember the story he was going down in the battle with the long sharp nails inside and and i mentioned the name elizabeth elizabeth bridge elizabeth square where we have the ferry swing but who was elizabeth you will learn what she elizabeth she was an ex uh, she she was an amazing lady hungarians loved her so so we we have a lots of places named after her her other name kind of nickname as her family for her was Sissi. We live it for the people, not much, of course, but they have small private businesses started and so on. So we had American five-star hotels under the years of communism, like Hilton in the castle, but Marriott was open in the twenties. And we had not just the hotels, but a lot of guests coming from the western part of the world. Of course, people needed a special visa, the mission to get in here, but Elizabeth Taylor, the, the Hollywood star Elizabeth Taylor, she celebrated her 40th birthday in the Marriott Hotel, for example, in the 70s, inviting a lot of Hollywood stars. So Hungary wasn't that close to, you know, country. It was easier to get in than to the other communist countries. Also classical music or gypsy music. Yes, we this morning. This is the palace. Gypsy musician. We have an amazing collection of Hungarian folk music, and we have the classical music composers. We have inside the building, and if you just walk, if you just walk behind those buildings, that's where we have a shopping street, pedestrian street. And now it's time to have a look to the Buddha side again, to the left, where we have the palace. The royal palace that we saw this morning from the bus, but we couldn't see the, the, the building, the entire building from here, because I've mentioned the best view is from here, from the river. And from here you can really get, you know, how big the palace is in the Nile, how close it has. But such a shame, this building has never been used as a royal residence because we were occupied by the Austrian royal family and it was festivals, of course. So we have festivals for bread, festivals for cheese, festivals for sausage. It's like a big eagle, an eagle-like bird, that's the mythical bird of the Hungarians. Because according to the legends, when Hungarians came from Asia to Europe, the bird and this is how they came to That's the so-called the tool. The lights. To tell the truth, I've never counted the windows. I just believe the legend that says it has 355 windows and 
the architect in this parliament building, they should work 365 days a year to make the life of Hungarian people much better. But unfortunately, that's why we are For members of parliament, they don't work that much. They work just two days a week. Because inside the parliament, our parliament has sessions on Mondays and Tuesdays. Oh, thank you. More than 1,000 people have heard this. And they need all the Hungarian materials for the construction. So this is how they manage to build the 100% Hungarian. Hungarian. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. It is an amazing building. Inside they used a lot of pure wood and marble and expensive type of wood for the woodwork and and uh, fantastic hand paintings, porcelain decorations. So I have to tell you that people who are working in the parliament building are really lucky because they work in the most beautiful building of the city there. And if you have a look at the parliament building, you can see it has the high dome. Under the dome, there's the dome hall, where we have the crown of Hungary kept of the building there. And you may think that it is just an office building, but I have to tell you that the building has like 700 rooms, and only 200 of the 700 rooms are used in offices, because there is a huge library, there are workshops for carpenters and plumbers. <laughs> or they have a little supermarket, they have a post office in there, they have doctors as well, if somebody needs a doctor in the parliament building. And when our members of parliament need a fresh haircut, before a television interview they can find a hairdresser and a beauty saloon in there too. So, very luxurious. They don't have to leave the building for any of the services. They can find everything inside there, so it is like a little city. And <coughs> this parliament building was the most a whole city could be built with like 40,000 inhabitants. And it was about the same amount of money as 10 tons of people. How much they spent. We have cruised at the gate walkers. We have cruises from Germany down to Budapest. So it's really worth to book a cruise because it's such a fantastic experience to visit to see Danube, because this river Danube is the second longest river I've mentioned. It originates in Germany. It crosses like 10 different countries. In Hungary, the Hungarian the name of the river is Duna. So we don't call it Danube, we call it Duna. D -U -N -A. And when people are coming here, everybody wants to see the blue. You could hear the music during the cruise. This river has never been blue. This is a big river. You have a look to the past side on the right, you can see the Olympic sign. Olympic rings with our national colors, red, white and green. So we have Olympic Park because Hungary, that's a small country, has amazing results at Summer Olympic Games. Uh, in the entire history of Summer Olympic Games, Hungary has the 10th best result according to the number of medals for them. Big thing in Hungary, the ladies, kayaking team is the best in the world. But we have a lot of medals at gymnastics, wrestling, fencing, handball, these kind of sports. Zsa Gabor and the Gabor sisters, they were from Hungary, but let me tell you that they were other well-known people with some kind of Hungarian backgrounds. For example, there was a very famous magician who did...